Hey, what's going on guys? We're gonna take a tour of this Puma 32 RBF cube because it's all nice and toasty in here. It's pretty chilly outside, but this is a great family camper. And there's a lot of features on it that you parents will love too. So it comes out weighing 8,998 pounds. That is the unloaded vehicle weight. And then our tip to tip length is 36 feet, 11 inches. So it's all kind of in the middle range as far as weight and length. So here at the front, you got your power tongue jack. Of course, a couple propane tanks just behind there, and they're rather large too. Uh, diamond plating at the bottom of your front cap to just help protect it from road debris uh, when you're taking it down the road or even parking it in your camping spot. Nice, smooth front cap with a light and bright design on it. Aluminum siding. And then coming over here on our camping side, you have this little passage door, um, and I'll talk about that once we get on the inside as well, but this could be really great for if you happen to uh, lock your keys inside your camper. You can't get in. You can just have one of your kiddos crawl in here and be able to unlock the door. Front and rear power stabilizer jacks as well as a power awning to relax underneath. It does have an LED white strip that looks pretty cool. Solid steps at your main entrance. And I love that you don't have a slide out here on your camping side because you really can uh, take advantage of all of this outdoor living space. Oversized grab handle and you have the friction hinge door so it does uh, the wind doesn't bring the door back, damage your camper, or uh, slam it into your entrance and kind of scare you. This does have the extended season package, outside speakers that have uh, cool lights on them as well. And then here is access to your water heater, your fresh water connection, the exit point to your furnace. And then moving along, you have a bracket for a TV if you want to hang one up, maybe have a kid's movie on or watch the game. Outside shower, and this is great for rinsing off your sandy legs, your muddy shoes, giving your dog a bath. And then coming towards the back, you have a massive full featured outside kitchen. The door to it is very tall, so you can kind of use that for an additional awning too, since it does end right there. Um, so you can still be outside cooking even if it's raining outside large mini fridge, stainless steel microwave, couple cabinets. You also have lights too to see what you're doing um, even if it's pretty dark outside while you are trying to uh, cook. Sink, three drawers. This one right here is actually for your sponges. And then you have a griddle, great for stir fry or breakfast in the morning, countertop space if you need it, and some power back there. You also have a LP Quick Connect rear ladder, spare tire, and you are prepped for a rear observation camera. So now let's take a look at the inside. I know there was a lot of information. This thing is full of features. All right, so coming in all the way at the front, we have our master bedroom. And as you can see, all of your slide outs are located on your non-camping side. Like I said before, you really can use that outdoor living space on your camping side because of that. Uh, your queen size mattress is nicely tucked in this slide out. So it really gives you a lot of walking space here in the front. You can have room for a, a nice decorative rug if you will, would like. You are able to lift up the mattress for some additional storage and you have access to it from the outside outside as well. Shelves on both sides for your personal belongings or charging your phone at night. Couple cabinets too. And then we have our wardrobe. It does extend all the way across. You just have four entrances into there. The two uh, center doors, you can use that to get ready with the mirror panels on it. You also have a shelf that goes all the way across too. And then just next to that, is the entrance that I was telling you about on the outside, uh, but it's also where you are prepped for a washer and dryer unit if you would like, or you can just use it for some additional storage. There's even a shelf up there. Maybe put your dog bed in there. And then you have a dresser, a dresser across from your bed. You can use that for your TV, more storage with that countertop space. And you also have a spot for a TV up there. So you can either have it placed on that uh, dresser or hang it up. Moving along, your convenience center is right next to your uh, main entrance. Therefore, it's very convenient. Um, you have access to your awning, your slide outs, interior lights. Pretty much everything is all right there. A couple hooks just below for your keys or dog leashes. 
And then on the other side of the wall from your master bedroom begins our living room and entertaining space. 31 inch all electric fireplace down below that actually kicks off some heat. So you really could take advantage of that right now because it's pretty chilly outside. It's nice and cozy and warm. Or you can just have those pretty lights going during the summertime. Open shelving for some storage. Bluetooth speaker system for those outside and inside speakers. Just make sure that your speakers are not turned on outside when you are watching a movie. Uh, 40 inch swivel TV. And then kind of diagonal from that is your sleeper sofa. This will fold down into a sleeping space for one to two people depending on size. The middle cushion folds down into cup holders. And then you have cabinet space up above. Just next to that is your huge U-shaped dinette. And you're going to need this to fit all the people that this camper can sleep. Storage compartments are below each booth, which is really nice. And this also folds down into a sleeping space. This is a 2022 model. And the price comes out to be $38,975. And then coming into our gorgeous white kitchen, you have cabinet space above your sink. And you even have some storage right next to your main entrance. So if you need to access something quickly, if you're at a rest stop, you don't want to have to put your slides out, you can easily just open the door and be able to reach in here. Power outlets on the back to plug some small appliances in if you would like. And then your stainless steel sink, spray nozzle with a half roll up cover. You can use this for your dishes to dry or some additional countertop space. All of this storage down below and you also have accent lights running underneath your countertop. Three burner top stove, stainless steel oven. And then just up above is stainless steel microwave, range hood, beautiful backsplash. Stainless steel refrigerator, so they're all stainless steel appliances, goes very well together. Moving along, kind of save the best for last, you have some extra storage right here, so you can use this for your kids space, um, board games, extra blankets, pillows, whatever you would like. And then coming in here, we have our bathroom. Uh, I believe what's new is the clear glass shower door. It's nicely rounded out, but having that clear glass door really opens up the space too. Black matte finish on your faucet and shower head, which looks really nice. Skylight is there up above. And then you also have the same finish on your faucet, which I think looks nice too. Toilet paper holder, you don't find that often in campers, so the fact that they have one is pretty neat. Some storage right there. I would probably put a trash can. Uh, also storage below your sink. Toothbrush holder, soap holder, power. Medicine cabinet. And then we can't forget our foot flush toilet with a towel hook up above. And you also have a vent fan so you don't have to worry. You can kind of get rid of that smell or steam. And then last but not least, the best part of this entire camper, at least in my opinion, is this massive bunk room. So to my right, you have your sleeper sofa, just like the one in the living room. You can uh, fold this out into a sleeping space. The middle cushion gives you those cup holders as well. And then you have a loft bunk up above that you can latch to be able to sit and not have to hit your head. Uh, USB ports are on both sides to be able to charge your electronics. 300 pound weight limit, so a full size adult is able to sleep on these bunks as well. Power outlet. And then across from there, you have a spot for a TV that is underneath your uh, additional bunk. Closet storage space and a ladder that you can uh, neatly tuck away. And then of course, your last bunk. But there you have it. Any questions or concerns, feel free to let us know and we'll be happy to help.